All right, so I'm going to be showing you guys here how to set up Minecraft on the Steam Deck without using a third-party launcher. This is working via Proton. So we're just going to navigate to the desktop and open up the Firefox browser. Then we're going to navigate to Minecraft.net. And then you're going to log in here. So you want to select login up at the top right corner. Okay, and then you're going to sign with your Microsoft account or your Mojang account. All right, and then once you get signed in, you're going to go over and select the Get Minecraft button. You're going to select the PC, which is over here on the left. Okay, and then you're going to select Download. So I'm going to scroll down here and show a little bit better. Okay, and then we're not going to download the Linux versions just because they don't remember the password and it's too difficult, at least for me, to get it working. So we're going to download the launcher for Windows 7 slash 8. You're going to save the file, of course. Then we're going to open up Steam. Then once in Steam, we're going to navigate to the library page. Then down at the bottom, you're going to select Add a Game, and then Add a Non-Steam Game. And then you're going to navigate to the Downloads folder. You're going to select Browse, and then go to Home Slash Deck. And here you should be able to scroll down and find that folder labeled Downloads, or wherever you have your files set to download. You're going to show all files and select the Minecraft installer.msi. You're going to add selected programs. And then if you have a lot of games, like I do here, you're going to go ahead and search Minecraft. And then you should see there Minecraft installer.msi. Mine says .exe because I first tried this with the .exe and it doesn't work, which is the Windows 10 slash 11 folder version, so you don't want to use that one. Then you're going to force the compatibility to Proton Experimental, and then you're going to select Play. Then once you do that, it should open the Minecraft launcher setup. Just follow through the prompts here. Okay, and then this is going to install Minecraft through Proton. And then once this is finished, it's just going to show a black Minecraft launcher screen. Don't be concerned at this point, it should still work. So you'll just close out of this black screen here. I tried a couple of things to see if it would show it here, but I do end up closing it here. And then what you're going to do is go to the settings here, to the manage, and then we're going to go to properties, and we're going to go in and find the folder for the Minecraft launcher now. So on screen I will show here the file path that I followed to get there. It should be similar for what you guys have, unless you set it up a little and ran it up a little bit different than I did.
Okay, then you're going to copy the location here. And we're going to come back and paste it into this here. And make sure when you're pasting this that it begins with and ends with a parenthesis. So the target is going to be to the actual executable file. And then I just set the start in here. I'm going to go and copy the file path for the folder just before the exe. And then have it start right there. And to copy the location, uh, you'll you left click on it; it'll pull it up. And then again, make sure it's surrounded in parentheses. And make sure it's checked for Proton Experimental. And you should just be able to close that. Okay, and then I'm just making sure that it's working here. So when I select play, it's going to load up the launcher. All right, and then after the successful launch of the, it here, I'm going to go ahead and close out of the window. And then we're going to close out of this other window here and return to gaming mode. All right, and then once in gaming mode, we're going to go ahead and launch Minecraft through here. But first I'm going to select the keyboard and mouse layout from the template list here. Let's try to get this to focus here. And mine so showed this message, unable to sync, but it's not going to have cloud support anyways. So I'm just going to click get play anyways. Doesn't really matter. All right, we're going to go ahead and sign into Minecraft now here. And then I did find out here if you push sign in, it boots you out, like if you select sign in. So what I did is I redid the login details after launching it at Minecraft again, and I pushed enter through the Steam keyboard, and then it signed me in just fine. And I don't really show that login process, just because I was like, what's going on? So I pulled the Steam Deck away. So that's why it kind of cuts here to me being signed in. Okay, and then you go and select play and it's going to download the latest release. If you haven't already, you'll need to set up a Minecraft username for the Java edition. 
then it got to a point where it's showing that it's still downloading, but it just launched Minecraft anyways. So I just ran with it and played it. And you'll see that show up here. Yeah, you can see right there that just immediately launched without the game being at 100%. And then a thing to mention when you're loading up the world is it doesn't look like it's going to work, but it does. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, so you can see here it's starting to show like it's loading like it would on the normal PC version. But it doesn't the percentage doesn't keep up with it. But it will get to 100% and get you into the game. Yep, and now you'll see that it's joining the world getting into it. When I first join in the world it does lag a little bit. There's a few frame drops but after playing like you play for like maybe 30 seconds and it starts running butterly smooth. And here I'm going into the graphics settings, the video settings, and I'm gonna be changing it. If you scroll down there's a full screen option and it says off at first. If you change it to on it goes to the default um, 800p resolution for the Steam Deck. Then I'm going back into desktop mode here. I'm just going to be changing the art for the game, for Minecraft. What I did to find this is I just googled Minecraft and it went to images and downloaded the ones I wanted. You find some that are roughly the size that it looks. I didn't really look for anything particular. And I'll just go through here and show you. So when you recently launched it, that's going to be the background picture, like when you're not really the background, but it's <laughs> recently launched games icon kind of thing. And if you go to the actual page here, you can set the custom background for when you go into it. Now I just set the same background for both of those there. And we're going to set the custom logo here. As Minecraft. <coughs> I did forget a show here. If you right click on it, if you go to the properties you can set the custom icon. I already did that, but I neglected to show it. And then I put it into a collection, this way you can kind of get the um, poster view. It's probably one of the faster ways to do it, so I set up a quick, like, non-Steam collection. And I accidentally clicked Murder Miners rather than Minecraft. Which, if you didn't know, Murder Miners runs flawlessly on the Steam Deck. You just can't put, uh, you can't type anything on the keyboard. It's the only thing that doesn't work for me. Anyways, back to the Minecraft here. So I'm going to find Minecraft again and then put it into this new collection I made. And then you'll see there and we're going to right click it and then we're going to set the custom artwork. And then you'll have to refresh this page in order for it to show, but it did work. And I didn't show it either, but I if you go into the properties, you can change the name of the game as well. So I changed it to Minecraft rather than Minecraft Launcher. Okay, now I'm just going to show that it's working in this game mode. 
And if you change the name, it's not going to show it as a recently played game because you adjusted the name of the game. Okay, and then I'm going to go here to my library just to show you that the icon worked. And then there it is, Minecraft. You select it here and you can see all those details about it. <laughs> I kind of cut it a little bit faster than I meant to there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't tried modding Minecraft on the deck yet. It is something I intend to do in the future. I don't usually mind my, my Minecraft, but I, I will give it a shot just, you know, for purposes of showing you guys, unless you want to try it. Uh, but I hope you found this useful. If you don't like third-party launchers like me, if you try to avoid them, hopefully this helped you out. Have a good rest of your day.